Hey everyone, it's JC. Um, video today I'm going to do is a unboxing for Trial by Trolley. This is the Derailed Edition. Uh, just came out through Kickstarter. The So there, I'll be doing two videos. One showing off the base set cards. So the ones that everyone can get in regular retail wherever. The second video showing off all the Kickstarter exclusive stuff. Um, and expansion packs. It's um, I'm not sure if the expansions are Kickstarter exclusive or not. They probably are though. Now, uh, just a heads up forewarning though, because of the nature of this game, um, and some of the cards in either of the videos may or may not depict bad things or things that might be sensitive to people. Just a heads up. It's not not for everybody. Uh, this is just a warning. This is not a video um, necessarily for children. Um, I don't think there's in the in the base set. There's not. There's really not many graphical images or anything. There might be more in the Kickstarter exclusive stuff. I haven't went through it yet to be sure. But just a heads up. You know. You've been warned. Thanks. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Jason. Uh, today I'm going to do an unboxing of the new game by Happiness and Cyanide. Or sorry, Cyanide and Happiness. Uh, Trial by Trolley. The Derailed Edition. Uh, this is the Kickstarter edition, just came out. Um, so I will do a second video that has all the bonus packs. I'm just going to go through the main content in this video, but um, I have already unwrapped it. Uh, we're just going to look at some of the cool artwork on the box here. Um, so if you've played Happiness and Cyanide and Happiness's other game, Joking Hazard, um, this is sort of familiar. It's not the same game, um, but it has a s similar type of thing. You play as a judge, uh, and players play cards, and you someone picks who wins. So here's our box. There's some of the Kickstarter exclusive stuff on this side. Here's the regular stuff. Um, pretty simple explanations. We have a train mat. You play different cards. There's innocent, guilty, and modifiers. Um, just kind of showing down here. Each player on a team, it says up here how many players each card draws. Um, but one, one team, one person's a judge, one team has the top track, one has the bottom track. So one team will play, you know, randomly draw a card from the deck so they don't know what they're going to get. Then they'll, each, one person will pick from their hand an innocent card. And then the opponent will play a guilty card, so basically good character, like a nice thing, nice thing, and then a bad type of thing. And you play modifier cards on those characters. And then you have to try and convince the conductor that your side shouldn't die, that the opponent's side should. Uh, and then if you do die, you get death tokens. And then after everyone's been a conductor once or twice, or how many people you want to play, there's three counters. Um, then whoever has the most counters loses. Uh, this is Trolley Tom. He's kind of the mascot of the game. Both token. Here is our trolley track. And then this is a Kickstarter version. So we get like a gory, bloody death version. Come with five decks of cards. That's quite the bunch. And there's other stuff in the box. Again, I'll go on that in part two because that's all like expansion uh, Kickstarter stuff. So these are innocent cards. Open here. All right, here we are. Maybe there we go. All right, I'm 
time I go through this kind of fast is because there's a lot of cards to go through and I don't want a three hour video. Uh, so, example, like, you'll maybe draw a card from the deck or you may have multiple cards in your hand. This is when you pick to try and help convince the conductor not to run these over because it's an intelligent talking dog. Uh, an external hard drive with 3 billion Bitcoin on that can be all yours if it isn't hit by a trolley. A family of woodland creatures fleeing from pollution. Pollution in the back. A local farmer's market. Ma... Mal Malalala? Not I probably pronounced that wrong. Hey, friendly genie who will grant you three wishes if they aren't hit by a trolley. A child's fifth birthday party. A music producer who wants to make you the next big pop star. An orphan with a heart of gold. Your best friend's significant other. A scientist who will one day discover the secret to interstellar space travel. A fragile but functioning teleporting, teleportation machine. A theme park full of children. A busy street on Halloween. The Garden of Eden. A trolley that will disturb an ancient bear... An ancient... Native American burial ground. A voodoo doll that looks just like you. A Girl Scout troop selling cookies. A tree full of cookie baking elves. Knitting group full of adorable grannies. Jimmy. Your favorite author. Two teens falling in love for the first time. An aging couple still madly in love. A team of young girl superheroes fighting to make the world a better place. A compassionate detective trying to detect a deadly serial killer. Your car. The most beautiful wedding. The best taco truck in the world. A real magical wishing well. Two kids running from an evil candy witch. God. A young witch using her powers for good. A friendly alien that just landed on Earth. A giant pile of leaves that a child just jumped into. The last two pandas. A young fawn recently orphaned. A critical cable holding up the Golden Gate Bridge. You teleported into this track after making your decision. Robin Hood. A heroic team of astronauts trying to save the world from a massive meteor. A blind man guiding his equally blind guide dog. Your home. A family of penguins on an epic adventure. A tribe of Amazonians who have had zero contact with the modern world. A team of superheroes uniting to save the world. Abraham Lincoln back from the dead. All of your mom's closest friends. A CDC, a uh, Center of Disease Control van. Transporting a cool new strain of highly contagious plague. A group of close-knit teen friends on their last day together before they leave for college. A hopeful pioneer family. The last unicorn. A science that will one day discover how to clone dinosaurs. A billionaire about to donate their entire fortune to a charity of your choice. Keanu Reeves. Bob Ross. The Supreme Court justices you agree with. Steve Irwin, who turns out he was faking his whole death the whole time. 
a rabbi, a priest, and a minister, well, minister walking towards a bar. A boy and his dog. Betty White. Helen Keller. All the fish in the sea. That is funny. I love how it spears off. A recently bereaved, now single father of three. Disneyland. The last avocado tree. Enough food to feed all the starving kids on Earth. Your parents on the night they were <laughs> you were conceived. A six-year-old widow finally pursuing their lifelong dream to be an artist. The final match of a third grade chess tournament. First grade science fair. A journalist who just uncovered the most shocking scandal of our time. A magical glen full of peaceful fairies. Everyone at this table. The good parts of the internet. Live performance of your favorite band. All the guards for an item for dangerous supervillains. All of your pets. Mr. Rogers, the girl who will grow up to become the first female president of the United States, the last honeybees, your favorite sibling, entire population of New Zealand, the world's most reliable baby pet setter, young George Washington, a small town, a small town love, a beloved small town librarian, a second grade recorder cycle. Lifeguard about to save a small child from drowning. All of your biggest fans. Everyone that loves the person to your left. The bartender who will one day invent a hangover free wine. A friendly leprechaun in the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Summer camp for deaf kids. A team of scientists on their verge of discovering a cure for aging. Entire water supply for a major city. A team of heroic adventurers on a quest to save the world from evil. A backyard barbecue with all of your friends. Your very own jetpack. World's entire supply of coffee beans. And the Empire State Building. So those are all the... Not all of them, but that was this stack of innocent cards. So these are like the good things that you want, that you probably don't want to run over. Alright, let's look at the next. What makes this game interesting is because it's a game of like a moral dilemma. Is um, some of the different things you say or do, like you could pick... Random example, let's say you put down Betty White. You'd be like, oh yeah, no one wants to over Betty White, but maybe the judge of that particular game doesn't like Betty White. You know, so, well, then that's not going to help you. So even though they're innocent, like, positive cards, they could be negative to certain people. Like, if you say your favorite bang, you're like, Oh, my favorite band is Metallica, and some would be like, I hate Metallica, so they might be like, I'm going to run them over. You know, as an example, not any offense to someone that likes Metallica. Um, Alright, some more innocent cards. A single kitten on its way to be adopted. A crime scene with fragile but convincing evidence that could lead to the capture of a notorious serial killer. A switch with a 10% chance to detonate a nuclear warhead. A balloon containing a highly contagious airborne strain of Ebola. Your own mother. A kiddie pool full of babies. <clears throat> a fragile crystal said to house an ancient apocalyptic demon. The next Picasso. A heroic girl crossing the tracks to save a child. A sack of puppies. Steve. Charlie disturbs the tomb of an 
Imhotep, the Plague Bringer. So like, that's not necessarily a good thing, like versus your mom, but it's also not inherently evil, unless you hit it. So it would be a reason a thing you would not want to run over. That's kind of what the innocent cards are. Uh, sparks from your trolley wheel set fire to Yosemite National Park. Again, not necessarily a good, good card, good topic, but something that you would not want to run over. Um, scientists who literally just discover the cure for cancer. The first, a class of first graders on a field trip. Santa Claus. Ten-year-old cancer survivor. Your grandparents. A local high school class posing for graduation photos. The one that got away. An owl carrying your wizarding school acceptance letter. Team of diplomats on the verge of world peace. A crew of firefighters rescuing a kitten. 15 people waiting in line in a soup kitchen. A hardworking father of five. Teenage superhero who will one day save the city. A kitten cuddling with a dog. A science racing to warn everyone of an impending disaster. Another trolley full of people. A whole village of Amish people who don't believe in trolleys. Group of volunteers cleaning up the trolley tracks. A surprise birthday party for you. A runaway stroller carrying triplets. Immigrant family in search of a better life. A crowded Mother's Day brunch buffet. A woman in labor racing to the hospital. These tracks are a shortcut to the hospital. That's funny. Uh, an award-winning middle school robotics team. Every nurse on earth. Everyone over the age of 40. Your best friend. Batman issue number one mint condition. The trolley delays traffic stopping an ambulance from reaching an emergency. Bigfoot finally ready to stop being so shy. Tom Hanks. A mother and her ducklings. Forgotten book of the Bible, actually written by God, which ties the whole thing together and fixes all the plot holes. A, house, a hose being used to fight a fire at a children's hospital. A time traveler coming to warn us of grave danger. The original Mona Lisa. Old timey prospector headed to work. World's greatest physicist. A fragile manuscript with nine forgotten plays by Shakespeare. Miss America. Lost hiker following the tracks back to civilization. A local theater troupe performing for charity. Your grandma. A winning lottery ticket with your name on it. The Fountain of Youth. Yourself from 10 years in the future. A friendly talking dinosaur. A film, a crew filming a live episode of a beloved children's TV show. A bunch of nuns having fun. A happy three-legged dog. A stranded mermaid calling for help. A funeral procession. A brilliant young lawyer fighting to make the world a better place. Key witness who could bring down an untouchable mobster. A little girl bringing treats to her grandmother. A doctor performing life-saving surgery on a previous trolley victim. A princess waiting for true love's first kiss. A school bus full of children. A fully furnished home available to rent and well under your price range. A bunch of teens solving a mystery. A completely functional Batmobile with your name on it. A warehouse full of frozen cryogenic bodies that may one day be brought back, brought back to life. Your favorite teacher. A rare and beautiful flower that contains the cure to cancer and AIDS. Jesus Christ on his first or second world tour. A philosopher who will one day bring peace to the world. A heroic time-traveling alien who wants to take you on an epic adventure. 
your dad a friendly dragon that will let you ride it the holy grail a sexy vampire who's super into you a bunch of kids playing on the track a working time machine the next Mozart an exact clone of your significant other only hotter all the children you will ever have the world's greatest chef everyone under the age of 15 a bunch of a group of Buddhist monks your hometown sports team a promising young scientist the lone survivor of a terrible trolley accident your entire family a young artist drawing their first masterpiece a beloved children's book author the Dalai Lama and a park ranger helping an endangered tortoise to cross the tracks All right, now we're going to go over the guilty cards so these are the ones you would play to try and uh, sort of sway the conductor on run over the things that people would want to run over um, and some of these are going to be controversial you know funny controversial like first one here is Kardashians yeah there's some people that love the Kardashians so not everybody but in general people would be like yeah, yeah I'm fine running them over you know especially compared to like um, I'd rather run over the Kardashians than a 10 year old kid you know type of idea um, that's where your moral quandaries come from so we also have a thief planning on robbing your home tonight a swarm of killer bee bees flying straight toward you a deadly bear with a human brain robo hitler a lone scout for a dangerous race of conquering aliens caring from HR the person responsible for removing the headphone jacks from your new eye from your new phone a corrupt cop about to frame you for murder a family of cannibal hillbillies the world's deadliest arsonist your landlord a T-Rex about to eat two children and countless others. A person in charge of euthanizing all the animals at your local shelter. Your boss. A horrible 10 year old influencer who makes way more money than you. An angry kid who will one day shoot up a school. A group of concerned parents that will one day convince the government to outlaw video games. A butcher making meat pies out of cats, dogs, and babies. An alien body snatchers bent on world domination. The 1%. Cthulhu. A person who stole your identity and bought a yacht. A person who invented microtransactions. Justin Bieber. An Al Qaeda operative. A sniper attempting to assassinate your local congressperson. A peacefully protesting neo-Nazi. A poacher lining up a shot on an African white rhino. A pedophile approaching a playground. Adolf Hitler. A serial axe murderer. A ruthless third world dictator. The owner of a profitable dog fighting business. Your childhood bully. Your evil twin. The leader of a dangerous cult. A murder acquitted on a technicality. The insufferable 19 year old Bitcoin billionaire. A pack of all right velociraptors. Some guy mugging your best friend, or just your friend. An artificial intelligence that will one day enslave humanity. A robot sent, a robot from the future sent to kill your mom. A bunch of seagulls that are definitely going to poop on you. All 40 people between you and the British crown.
A creepy clown car containing every anywhere from one to every killer clown. The world's most obnoxious fraternity. The Antichrist. A politician who will one day start World War III. A shark with wings. A giant spider that hunts humans for sport. The world's most annoying sports fan. A heckler. Notorious cannibal. Nickelback. Nosferatu. A Wall Street lobbyist. The guy who keeps deciding we need another Fast and Furious movie. Ross from Friends. The person who invented pop-up ads. The high school, the person in high school, the person you hated most in high school. A mad scientist hacking an evil scheme. All of your evil exes. A ringleader of evil circus. A tiger that has a taste for human flesh. A mean poop throwing monkey. Michael Bay. Your racist uncle. A raccoon with rabies hiding towards a playground. A horde of zombies running toward you. A grumpy old dragon sitting on a horde of treasure. A share time share salesman with some really enticing offers. An evil witch that steals and eats children. A traffic officer in the middle of writing you a ticket. All the records of your financial debt. Kim Jong Un, an extremely loud, loud college a cappella team. That friend who spells every movie and TV show for you. An old timey outlaw with a bounty on their head. North Korean refugee who must move on a trolley to escape. The world's most obnoxious improv troupe. The DMV. A young supervillain who will one day attempt to take over the world. Putin. A violent barbarian on a pillaging spree. A creepy possessed doll. A swarm of bird sized mosquitoes that will reproduce and take over the world. A cracking attacking seaside villagers. Or a seaside village. I learned how to read. A teacher you hated the most in school. A dingle about to eat a baby. Internet Explorer. A homicidal mime. George Lucas at the exact moment he thought of Jar Jar Binks. All the kids that used to make fun of you. An evil spirit responsible for all your bad luck. The one witness to the most terrible crime you've ever committed. The world's ugliest nudist colony. An author working on a book that will inspire a global fascist regime. regime. A bioterrorist bioterror trying to weaponize smallpox. The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. A doctor who is secretly poisoning their patients. A corrupt pharmaceutical CEO. Undead Osama bin Laden. An open gateway to hell that will close if hit by a trolley. Again, something you might want to run over, um, you know, for your side, but it is also a negative thing. A camel that will not stop spinning on you. A notorious hacker. Two violent bank robbers. A vat of liquefied hamburger that gives Donald Trump all his power. The obnoxious king couple making out on the tracks. A cartoonishly evil old oil baron. A horrifyingly reverse mermaid. The one critic that gave Toy Story 3 a bad review. A rowdy American tour group ignoring a do not cross the trolley track sign. A peeping Tom on the way to your house. An angry mom about to burn an innocent woman as a witch. Those awful kids from the Lord of the Flies. 
New England Patriots starting lineup, a bunch of Mafia thugs, a ruthless and deadly hitman, a leader of the Illuminati, the KKK Recruitment Center, a guy in a creepy van trying to lure children with ice cream, a small child who will one day accidentally murder your best friend, a giant lizard on its way to attack a major city, and an influencer taking a ridiculously irresponsible selfie. Alright, and then we have the modifier cards. And before I start reading through them or showing them all quick, just kind of a quick explanation of how those work. So if I've already got my track started, so like my first card comes out, I have an innocent card, which is a talking dinosaur. And I have a guilty card, which is a tiger at the case for human flesh. Um, so basically what happened, would, it would be more like this. is Randomly draw one from the card. Uh, the team plays one innocent card from their hand. And then your opponents play a guilty card. So they're trying to like, use hoping this card's bad enough to counteract these two good ones. Is the idea. Um, and then players get to play modify cards. So example, this one only speaks in dad jokes. So now, it has an arrow here. Because how that works is you play this, each team gets to play this on any card. So you can play it on their own, they can play it on um, another, or the other team's cards as well. But what you can also do though is have the arrow point to something specific. So I could have it like this. So it's a friendly talking dinosaur. So I'm like, oh, I love that. But it's a dinosaur that only speaks in dad jokes. Okay, so that might be terrible. And like, great that it talks, but why would I want that? Alternatively, though, someone could play, could play this card. Let's slide these over. So they could play it like this. It says, these humans here, that this tiger's about to eat, only speak speaking dad jokes. So that's a good reason to run them over. You know. That's just an example of what you can do. Um, or the next card, like, their text phrase is, I'm HIV positive. So again, like, someone could specifically choose these two people on this card. They could specifically choose the tiger. Um, it doesn't, it's not necessarily just the one card itself. Um, Alright, so that we'll start going through these. Um, has some uh, 20 program lines. Only has 20 programmed lines of dialogue. Uh, this little tra uh, Charlie Tom in the corner. Different thoughts on that. Will realistically never be out of crippling debt. I always vote the opposite of you. Can never remember your name even though you've met like 20 times. Tortured a lot of people during the war. Is the only caretaker of their aging parents. So these are good and bad things. Is rushing home to take care of their sick baby. Will not stop playing the didger didgeridoo. Always making a duck face. Is one month away from finishing a machine that will put you out of a job. Will replace their boss in three months. Is immortal and can only be killed by a runaway trolley. Evil genius mastermind who masterminded this whole scenario. Hitting them will just split them into two half sized versions of the original. Unironically voted for Harambe, the gorilla, in 2016 US presidential election. Is secretly the kingpin calling the shots for the entire rush, Russian mafia. Legitimately thinks pedestrians have the right of way on trolley tracks. Batman will bring the killer, their killer to justice. Dresses up as Spider-Man to cheer up patients at children's hospital. Ready, already told all of their loved ones goodbye. Is holding your family hostage. Their death will be instant. They'll feel no fear or pain. Holding all of your pets. We'll win the lottery tomorrow. 
suffering from chronic depression, is on their way to commit suicide, has always secretly hated you, just stole your life savings, just punched you in the face, you've always had a crush on them, will let will let you have their yacht if you don't kill them. Definitely peaked in high school. Killed a lot of people back in the 90s. Their deaths will cause a chain of events that lead to nuclear war. Is spreading really nasty rumors about you. Will one day save the world from climate change. Just brought a life insurance policy for everyone on the other track. Is about to meet their soulmate and fall in love. Their death will inspire copycat trolley killings around the world. Steals money from children's hospital to fund their underground hobo fight club. Stole your identity. Their death will cause a chain of events that lead to the collapse of global economy. Their death will earn you a Nobel Peace Prize. If they die, you will have to speak at their funeral in front of at least 100 people. If they die, you'll have to clean up the mess. Will be reincarnated as the, as the world's most obnoxious social media influencer. Will be reincarnated as the world's cutest dog. Has a 50% chance of, to survive and gain trolley themed superpowers. Is getting married tomorrow. Is actually a KGB sleeper agent. Guess exactly how Game of Thrones is going to end in his smug about it. Will one day invent the perfect clean energy solution? Will one day discover the secret to internal youth? Is holding your computer? A selfless hero will give their own life to push this person off the tracks. Has secretly stolen $10 from you every day for the last 10 years. Never wants to see you again. Is totally down if you're down. No pressure. Literally will stop talking about the new fad diet they're trying out. Is literally always turned on. Steals from the poor and gives to the rich. Starts every sentence with, I'm not racist, but... Just wrote the terrible screenplay that you really wanted to read. Just wrote a terrible screenplay that they really want you to read. You are destined to fall madly in love with them tomorrow. You had a pleasant conversation with them an hour ago. Their death will inspire a peace world peace movement, like pineapple on pizza. Won't vaccinate their children. Their three children. Will survive and enter a 20 year coma if hit, but when awake they will stop at nothing to hunt you down. Number one on the FBI's most wanted list. Owns a patient on a life-saving leukemia patent on a life-saving leukemia drug, but won't sell it for at least for less than one billion. Just robbed a convenience store at gunpoint. Is pretty hot. Went to trial for a 12-person serial killing spree, but was acquitted on a technicality. Is madly in love with you. Has no friends. Smokes four packs a day. Will do anything for you if you save them. Has access to your bank account. Is just an utter bastard. Recently lobotomized. Has an 80% 80 80% chance to become the next Hitler. Is holding their baby. Wrote you into their will as a sole beneficiary. Was just starting to turn their life around. Their family will sue you if you hit. Is controlled by an alien brain parasite that could enslave humanity. Their ghost will haunt you forever. An undetected terminal cancer. Will one day discover the secrets to cloning dinosaurs. Oop. Owes you $500. Their death will inspire riots across the nation. Is on their way to fight you. Is actually three kids in a trench coat. 
Don't get blood every week and will continue to do so for the rest of their life. Committed unspeakable crimes against humanity during the Vietnam War. Will solve hunger within the next three years. Escape from a maximum security prison. Still got a pile to go. Uh, literally nobody will miss them. In death will become a popular internet meme. Redeeming a life of me mediocrity. Is a philanthropist. Philamp Philanthropy. Okay, I'm gonna get this word out. A philanth. Nope, I'm not. It's one of those things. Who owns and manages a cutting edge cancer research facility. Is actually just one of 329 identical clones. Is 98 years old. Has your phone number and knows where you live. Ignored six. Bright rag warning signs, climbed two fences, and invaded a railroad security guard to get here. Has a 90% chance to win the next presidential election. Just proposed to your mom. If killed, will rise as a zombie, the fast kind, and attempt to eat you. Practices witchcraft and will curse you with the same fate as their in their final breath. If hit, brought their daughter to take your kid to the trolley tracks day. Just had a philosophical epiphany that will change the world. Just kidnapped a family of four on their way to blow up the Pentagon. On their way to stealing your lunch money. Literally drenched in Axe body spray. Secretly wants to die. Worst smelling person in the world. Lives in a trash can. One day will become a powerful politician and start the purge. Has the most beautiful ass in America. Is going to love everyone they love is going to die in a freak accident tomorrow. Just join the priesthood. Will one day invent the world's most addictive smartphone app? On their way to murder someone you knew in high school. Addicted to prescription drugs. Is thinking about some really terrible stuff about you right now. Is on their way to ask you out. Makes way more money than you do. Doesn't cover in their, mouth, their mouth when they cough. Just woke up from a 10 year coma. Is wearing a jetpack and may be able to escape the trolley but there's a 20% chance the jetpack will explode. Has some real racist tattoos. If Kill will return more powerful than you could ever imagine. Would literally give you the shirt off their back. Wrote some really awful things online a few years ago. Chews their mouth with choose their food with their mouth open. Killing them will release the 13 kids that have trapped in their basement. Just peed in a crowded swimming pool. Knows actual magic, only uses it for personal gain. Is secretly a, a deadly serial killer. Last little stack here. Is happily married to a ruthless warlord. Has been stalking you since preschool. Keeps his poor kids to read every Tuesday. Literally drinks the blood of the poor people. Believes it keeps them young. Is constantly reminding you you just lost the game. You just lost it again. Keeps trying to talk to you when you have headphones in. Only wears the clothes made from baby seals. Locally hates her pets and or children. Is literally the devil. Is an organ donor. Right before it hits them, the trolley will slow to a crawl so that it runs over them at an excruci excruciatingly slow pace. Will one day invent the cure to cancer and use it only to cure rich people. Is on their honeymoon, just sitting over a terrible divorce. Keeps asking you out. If they die, their two adorable dogs will starve to death. Is cheating on their significant other. Will be the first person to live to the age of 150. Is secretly the world's most deadly assassin. Constantly farting. Just brought you a thoughtful birthday present. Is driving your car. 
He's walking your dog. Secretly a lizard person in a human skin suit. Is going to be the next big rock star. Is running. Runs a loving foster home for troubled orphans. Is currently being interviewed by a national news team. Is your long lost sibling. Currently writing a book about the economic benefits of slavery. Kicks every animal they see. Only speaks in emojis. He's an outspoken necrophiliac rights advocate. Has never voted, says they're planning. They're too busy playing Fortnite. All right. So that is Trial by Trolley. Uh, a party game for moral, moral dilemmas and trolley murder. Uh, check back for video part two, uh, which will have all the Kickstarter expansion stuff in it. Uh, talk to you guys later. Bye.